welcome again uh, to my channel in this tutorial we will see the uh, image pre-processing in Erdas imagine software we will see all the first part of the the pre-processing of satellite image including the radiometric correction geometric correction and some uh, clipping or the extracting of an image to the area of interest so let we add some uh, bands or data of our satellite image i'm using landsat image landsat 8 image go to open new raster data and uh, add your data from your folder i have my, saved my image here so i have this band 5 this is band 5 band 3 band 2 and band 4 the near infrared band and rgb or red, red green and the yellow bands i am adding this four bands and this is arrow image there there has not been any of the radiometric correction or geometric correction have been done on this image so to use this image for any kind of uh, analysis first you have to do the first pre uh, image pre-processing tasks including the radiometric correction radiometric correction and some image enhancement so these are the five the four bands the rgb and the refrigerated band of the satellite uh, uh, sat sat um, eight satellite image so if we see around here this is a clue actually i have downloaded a clue free a clue free <coughs> uh, image uh, only this part of the image has this white color or this white clues but we can reduce this to minimum value of the clue by using haze reduction uh, correction and uh, most of the most part of the images flee off uh, I have downloaded an image with a clude cover of 0 0.0003 so we can just see how to perform the haze reduction in order to minimize this uh, so after you have added all your necessary bands that you are going to layer stack or to make composite bands you go to this uh, layer of raster and here we get radiometric correction and the leads of radiometric correction to be applied on image this all this all reduction or this all correction is depends on the uh, application or it depends for the purpose what we are going to use so here if you see it is it is a uh, rescale is here rescale is used to stretch the map the image pixel digital number between any bit depth, ty depth types such as uh, scanning 60 bit image to 8 bit image so this is stretching of an image here uh, autonomous atmospheric correction this is used for atmospheric correction and uh, we are going to use this head reduction and the nose reduction and also here is histogram or histogram equalizer and the topographic normalizer these are used for the first pre-image uh, processing of remote sensing image so haze reduction means atmospheric effect can cause imagery to have an limited dynamic range generally perceived as haziness or reduced contrast we are going to increase the contrast to the image in head reduction so this function sharpens the image the imagery using either a tassel cap or point spread convolution approach so in order to stretch or reduce uh, increase the contrast of an image here haze reduction will be used so in the first process we will use this haze reduction and it asks the input file input file i have the 
layer stacked image and this is a layer stacked image but each each of this uh, radiometric correction has to be done for each of the bands so let me use the for band four and provide the output file location here is one say is band four then click ok then the process is finished then also we do for this band is use band 5 provide go to recent folder then say no and I give the name is for band 5 Then close this, go to four band two again, select band two here and uh, provide the output location. Go to recent and select this, give the name for these two. Here's for band two, then click OK. Here also we go for his band, band 3 is left I think, and uh, provide the output location, say now. So all the progress is finished here we have four bands we have performed or the haze reduction radiometric correction for all bands this way it is better to perform the haze reduction for each of the bands that we are going to uh, composite or close this window and uh, we add all the previous bands now and we remove all this and add here this for is reduced mix and this will be the output the output image of the reduced haze image this is band 5 this is band 4 and this is band 3 and this is band 2 blue So uh, the next pre-processing in image analysis is maybe the noise reduction. Noise reduction, it applies an edge preserving smoothing thickness. So we will do the same for this to add the band 5 phase reduced image and provide the output file location and 
noise and five Then again, use band is is band four. Limit noise, I think. Sorry, noise. Band four again, noise for band three and the band two is left, band two. Again for band three and the hinged band three. Band three. So it is finished here. We close this one, and again we remove all these data. And the noise reduced image. So here noise five. Noise five, two, three, four. Then inside it, fit to frame. Yeah, this is for noise reduced one to five. So this is band three, band four. This is band three and this is band two. So after we have performed this noise reduction and his uh, reduction to each uh, band that we are going to composite or layer stack, the next step in the image pre-processing will be mosaic uh, layer stacking if you have any mosaic process you can use mosaicing or uh, any if you have uh, another image for example in this side you have to add this image um, to the one image using this mosaicing process so uh, the next step will be layer stacking this bands into one uh, raster data set so here we see the layer stacking I can here so the layer, layer stacking of the image will be the nose reduced and has reduced image and five for example add band four add in the band three band two of course and finally band three add 
and provide the output file location i am saving it in this this is layer stack of band two three four five and uh, I'll tick this ignore you know and the status and uh, click OK And the layer is starting to ask has been completed and it closes again and add the layer stack image. So like this layer stack of the band two three four five. Here we get the layer stack image here. So this is a composite band or uh, the composite of red band, near infrared, green, and the blue band of so Landsat 8 image. So, to change the color composite of this, go to the multi multispectral and the roster and change these layers. So, for example, for uh, red, I am using for itself in the three. For example, three. So we here we use three, two, one. No, this is not right. This will be to get this image in R in RGB or to look at our composition. You have to make the color infrared or you can change this uh, color layers depending on your interest or the purpose of the image composite for example if you wanted to distinguish the vegetation or the forest color you can use as a red layer the near infrared and as this is for example it is a true color but here i have changed it to, to and let this to one example this to band two this for band three this for band two and this for band one we'll get this kind of color composition and then we can change all as you need This is your example. So here we, from this band composition, we can distinguish the image. For example, this, this green areas are the forest land or the farmland, for example, around this. This is a farmland, for example. So we can determine and this pink red pink color is the water the turbid water body and uh, the visual interpretation is depends on the composition of the band this end of around this is for example this is the built up area For example, this is a color infrared. So the red parts are all in the vegetations. This way you can you can distinguish the features in this map. For example, this are a water body, the black one in 
ነር ፈራይድ ዊጌት ዘካላ ዘውተር በዲ ኢን ብላክ ኢን ዘ ቨቲሽን ኦር ዘ ፎረስት ላንድ ኦር ዘ ግሪን ላንድ ኢን ሬድ ኤንድ ፎር ኤግዛምፕል ኢፍ አይ ቼንጅ ዚስ ቱ ዚስ ሌርስሪ this layer 24 again it is not rgb rgb means red and this color 3 yeah this is rgb or natural color composite this around this is yeah, built up areas and this is also built up area we can distinguish from this rgb or true color composite these are the barrel lands or the stone the rocky lands for example so by changing this uh, multi spectral or the layers of the bands we can determine different features in the image so the next step will be georeferencing or rectifying of this satellite image we will see in the next how to georeference this satellite image then clip this part or your study area to use or to prepare land use land map of this certain area so next we will see how to georeference this uh, satellite image thank you for watching and uh, please just subscribe like and share to my share my youtube channel with your friends thank you again